I, well, I enjoy writing books, but um, it was mainly to try and get down the pensions law, get down the issues on pensions law, both for pension lawyers and for general trust lawyers. It's, uh, pension funds are a big part of trust law, lots of money in pension funds. They're, but they're underrepresented as, a, as a, an academic subject or a subject that's studied. Uh, probably not, not enough given the amount that's involved. So I wanted to fill that gap and give people access to the, the, the exciting things that are happening in pensions law. I, I wanted to cover the, how trust law and pensions law interact, so the common law of pensions, if you like. There's a lot of statute law that relates to pensions, which I've not, not covered as much. It's mainly been issues like trustee duties, employer duties, which are common law areas. So issues dealing with the purpose of a pension trust, the um, uh, duties of directors of trustee companies, that sort of thing are the ones I've, I've tried to cover in, in some depth. If you're, if you're a pensions practitioner, it goes into some very tricky areas in, in a lot of depth. So issues such as interpretation of pension fund trustees, amendment powers, powers of employers, the implied duty of trust and confidence, the new IBM case on that. Um, all of those issues are dealt with in, in a lot of depth and it's not dealt with elsewhere. So it's, it's the place to look at for, the, for those issues. So as a, for a practitioner, it's, it's definitely a, a leg up and a start and, and pushes a long way on those issues, on those areas. I think if I were to write a second edition, the issues that come up are things like um, the mutual duty of trust and confidence. There's been a recent IBM case that's pushed the boundaries a bit on that. Perhaps on review of trustee decision making, there's been a Supreme Court case uh, on that, Pitt and Holt. Um, and things like fetters on trustee discretions. There, there, there'd be um, some areas that could be added on. It would be a work of love. It would be never ending in that sense, but uh, would be fun to do.